What's good YouTube? In this week tutorial, I'll be showing you how I edited this little video. The journey begins with the roar of an engine. I'll go through the entire process, from the basic edits, to adding titles, sound design, color grading, and how I used AI to make the video more cinematic. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, because I'm not trying to sell you no expensive course I learned for free. Without further ado, let's jump into it. This is the journey of a lifetime, where one car takes command of the night. First things first, we're gonna create a new project, and I'm gonna name it Skyline Intro. After that, I'm gonna hit create, and as you can see, I've already imported some of the stock footage that I'll be using. I'm gonna double click on the first video that I'm gonna be importing to the timeline and on the source screen, I'm gonna grab it and drag it to my timeline. So the first shot is a drone shot and I'm gonna import one of the bass lines from one of my songs that I'm gonna be using. Chop it up and adjust it a little bit, then chop it up some more. And after that, I'm gonna shorten the clip, cutting it straight in the middle, doing us a fast forward thing like a speed ramp or something, low key. As you can see, so let me add the speed. All right, that's perfect. Okay, so some of the sounds that I used on this project, I got them from Eleven Labs. In a city where every street breathes life and every corner hides a story. So if you don't know Eleven Labs, it's some website that you go and you can just input your text or script and you're gonna get voices. Okay, they have a free version and they have a paid version. They have no points of this video. I'm just letting you know that there are some tools like Eleven Labs that you can use on your projects. I'm gonna import another drone shot of some skyscrapers just like that chop the audio because i want to use a little part of it for the intro on the on the skyscraper drone shot and uh, i'm gonna shorten the skyscraper clip a little bit after that i'll import some desert light whistling the wind whistling just to create the atmosphere and everything i just thought this could be cool like adding some atmosphere in this edit and now i'm gonna import a new clip of a bridge it's a drone shot somehow of the bridge in which this bridge i'm gonna be linking with the main character of this project which is a uh, mercedes benz so after i import it uh as you can see on the bridge we are train passing so i have some little train train passing sounds or something so i'm just gonna chop it up and add it all right you know just the audio from 11 labs the voiceover that I used, that I downloaded from 11 Labs. I'm kind of doing this to get a sketch and just to get a flow of the edit. But later on, I'm going to come through and balance all the audio and everything. Here are some of the clip from the Mercedes. So I'll, I'll be using the one on the bridge. So it synchronizes with the previous drone shot on the bridge. Yeah, I'm going to import it to the timeline. Just dragging and dropping it. Perfect, perfect. All right. And now I have a POV shot of a car moving in the highway that I want to like use just to connect the breeze, the car and the POV shot and I'm going to import it to the timeline too. Under it is a 11 Labs audio voiceover. So after that, I'm going to use another clip from the Mercedes uh, which has like some headlights shining because the previous POV shot has a lot of lights and everything just to synchronize and make the flow seamless. So I'm going to import that too, just like that. And now I'm going to head to a train in a subway somehow because just to connect with the previous train that was on the bridge and i'm gonna import it actually this shot has a lady passing just close to the camera that i'm gonna be using as a transition later on so i'm gonna import that too it's not on scale i'll make it on scale perfect you can see the train passing let me adjust it a little bit Marshall. so after that i'm looking for another mercedes shot not this one Yep, we have another close-up shot of a Mercedes passing by. It's, it's not such a close-up, but it's a Mercedes passing that I'm going to be using too. And adding a little bit of some fast car sounds that I downloaded. Yeah, just like that. Put it where it's supposed to be. Alright, now I want to like add another shot from the Mercedes going on the other direction. like, And I'm going to add like a simple shake transition effect there just to add a little bit of energy to the edit just like that and i'm thinking of adding a little bit of some more pov shots so i'm gonna go to the pov shot 
and we are sick to a point where I feel, yeah, something like this on the highway, on the freeway, when I select the parts I want to use, import it to the timeline just like that, perfect, I'm going to go to effects control, crop, adding that effect that I talked about earlier, I'm using the masking tool from the crop effect, just to mask around the lady passing by, I'm a fast forward this boring process, if you don't know how to go about this, I've done another video about this, you can check it, and I'm gonna create some automations on that mask part, same thing here, I'm gonna fast forward, I don't wanna bore you with all this, alright, now on the sound, I had a little bit of an issue with my OBS, apparently, it didn't record any sound from my edit, I don't know, if I tweaked some settings, I think I fucked it up somewhere, suggest, so pardon me for this one, yeah? But I'm going to do a full in-depth tutorial about sound design and everything. The mixing, the effects I use. But basically right here what I'm trying to do is just balancing each and every individual audio, the volume and everything. The way it fades in, the way it fades out. Yeah. So I'm listening each track solo. And right here I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a little bit of, a, of an effect where I'll just chop the audio right before it ends. And I'm gonna use some delay and reverb to create some room and some, some, yeah, just as a little bit of a transition to the next part of the audio or the effect that's coming through. So on the color grading, as you know, I have a ton of videos on that, how to go about that. But just a quick rundown. Um, I just selected one of the Mercedes shots because they looked uh, not so good and I adjusted the white balance a little bit, made it a little bit colder. Then I jumped straight to the highlights, did the highlights, I did a little bit of shadows, a little bit of whites and blacks. Yep, just like that. As you can see the before and after. Added a little bit of saturation. Yeah, jump straight to the curve where I wanna add a little bit of contrast and light to the video because it's looking a little bit dark. After that, I'm going straight to the color wheels, making the mid-tones a little bit colder, and the shadows a little bit warmer, and I'm going to add some vignette. Then I'm going to paste this grade to all my Mercedes shots, because the drone shots are looking somehow okay. Alright, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like this video, make sure you comment down below if you want to see me edit the same same on a free software apart from adobe like cupcat or any other free software just comment down below i'm gonna check that out and you never know i might just hop on another project i like me a challenge and make sure you subscribe thank you for 300 subscribers i really appreciate it. cheers Every street breathes life, and every corner hides a story. The journey begins with the roar of an engine. Every rev of its engine echoes the relentless rhythm of the city. A solitary force driving towards destiny, fearless and unyielding. Fasten your seatbelt. This is the journey of a lifetime, where one car takes command of the night.